how do you set guidelines and cloud rooms versus the legacy type of old Skype rooms? So that's what I'm going to talk about. This is Julie Wolf, Skype Coach, and I noticed that my Skype Vortex room here does not have guidelines. See, I put the slash get guidelines in here, and that's the system message that I got. It doesn't say sys anymore. Did you notice that? So this is 7. Clearly this is 7. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And uh, you can't see legacy type room pictures, but we're going to focus on... <laughs> Here's a cloud-based room. You can see um, the picture. In. Um, I just did a video the other day about that that switched at six point between 6.21 and 6.22. They haven't fixed it, but they are going to. It is an elevated Skype idea. Check out the information below this video about the Skype idea, Skype improvement ideas process, and the group chat, the Skype room that we have for that. But anyways, um, Carolyn asked me to earlier today about the guidelines that I wanted to get this video done before I moved on to the next one, uh, which is going to be about focus on Skype, how to set your Skype up to focus. But right now, okay, let's talk about guidelines. We know we're in a seven because we have the bub bubbly look of things in the blue bubbles and in the chat, right? And um, I have no guidelines in my room. So let's demonstrate that you can set guidelines in uh, in this room. You do have to have a space. That is my, my one hot tip. It's just like get guidelines except you replace the S with a, the G with an S. Set guidelines. So let me um, let me go get some guidelines, some sample guidelines, and I'll uh, post them in there. I've got my Skype room for Julie's Traffic Vortex ready, my, the guidelines, and I've got them in here and uh, I'm going to place them with set slash, sorry, slash set space guideline space and then whatever you want to put in there. Here you go. Typing in slash get space guidelines to check. Ta-da! <laughs> Here we talk about the amazing traffic vortex model, a business that spins people into the center of your funnel and motivation to profit by Directions University. So now I've got guidelines in the room. Again, once again, this is, notice how I do that exactly with the space between the two words and the slash. And i got to scroll down, oops, down, and it doesn't say 19, equals 19, it says the username of the creator of the room. So this is a P2P legacy type room, the better kind of room. If I try to do the same thing in a cloud-based room, let's make sure I am an administrator here, and I am, yes, <laughs> um, <laughs> confused Lynn, um, <laughs> okay, here we go, um, we're going to put in the set guidelines in a cloud-based room and we'll just put in a little, little emoticon here because we're just hi okay so uh, we go like that we do get guidelines it won't let me enter the guidelines so that's another limitation of the cloud-based rooms let's do, let's see if it really is a cloud-based room or a P2P old-style room with slash get space name. And sure enough, it's name equals 19. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate real, real quick was the guidelines are another thing that you can have inside of your room with resource links and hidden treasure as well as room rules. Um, that you can easily put a little video like I do in the topic to let people uh, know how to get the guidelines. And um, they're very, very useful, very easy to find, whatever resources you, the room is about. And uh, you can't do it in cloud-based rooms, the rooms where new Skype is, the, the new, 
create rooms that are created from new Skype. So you need to create rooms at least and go back to 6.14, which Skype lets you log into. Earlier than that, you need to know my geeky Skype tips, tricks. <laughs> so um, that's it. I'll see you on Skype and uh, create new rooms, not just with creating groups. Um, create, go log into 6.14 or let one of us that has 6.14 or earlier create new groups for you so that you have control and the benefits, the many benefits of moderating and controlling your rooms. The guidelines is just an extracurricular little goodie that I've used. A lot, a lot of people know about it. Um, I love to teach how to do that. And you've just seen how to do that. And it doesn't work in cloud rooms. It does work in these rooms. <laughs> so, um, sadly, they're not, they're not uh, giving us the picture yet. But that is an implemented idea. If you want to know about the Skype idea room, here's an example of me using the guidelines. If you want to be a part of this, making improvements to Skype, there is a process that Skype is actually implementing to do that. And that's what this room is about. So if you want to be a part of the Skype changes to get those things like pictures and our legacy rooms to show up again, um, see, you get this headless, three-headed, faceless person. It's not headless, faceless, faceless three-headed person now. Um, and if you want to have the benefits of moderation and and guidelines, <laughs> then um, come and ask me to give you the information about getting involved with this project. It doesn't take a lot of time. We're finding the things that you need to vote on. Um, if you want to take the time to go research, look at the idea boards and find them yourself, you can do that. I will put that information below this video as well. And thank you for watching. See you on Skype. Julie out.